so on these upcoming matches, there are bans, unlike the rest of the tournament. Each team gets to make one ban, I believe. So the um, Make It More Great Again team gets the first ban, and if it goes to a second match, then Socket Closed will get one ban. So it's not a straight uh, ban system. So there definitely is an advantage to staying in the winner's bracket, and that is that you get this ban in the first match. So it definitely gives you the edge. Uh, reminder that uh, if you haven't taken the survey, there is a survey up on EVENT. Uh, we'll put it in the Twitch again real quick. Uh, take it and let us know who you think the best, the funnest to watch were, and we'll give those people an extra prize. Uh, regardless of how they fared uh, in the tournament, everybody's eligible for these prizes. So I do believe, Nikolai, you did offer a prize as well for the spiciest meme to be posted in Twitch chat. So it was uh, player name Obvious. Uh, one, he's going to get a Drake. Um, it's actually NER, our new in-game. Uh, he will win a Drake. We'll send that out later. Um, he made a poop post on Reddit uh, that... Um, that he drew in about five seconds and managed to get up there um, in about ten seconds. It was it was pretty amazing work. So he's looking to graduate from EVE Uni with a degree in shit posting. So, <laughs> and most importantly, is this Drake going to be armor fit? Uh, it will be unfit. Sorry, uh, but you will get a Drake, and you can bring it to any fleet uh, that that RVB ever has. <laughs> or Drake. or your own corp. It's whatever. I'm just saying, I've never said no to somebody wanting to bring a Drake, so if you can't bring it in your own, you can bring it to ours. So because it is a long turnaround, we are going to give these teams a, uh, uh, a minute uh, because Socket Closed has to make sure their own Socket doesn't close before making Margaret again. Um, so we're going to take just one minute to get them uh, on field. So make a Margaret again right now on the clock for the band. Picking the Orthrus. So the Orthrus band by Make a Margaret again there. Or Socket Close having some good success earlier on with an Orthrus team. So that should certainly be interesting to see how they respond to that. Yeah, interesting to see not just will they um, deal with how they will deal with that ban, but how will they deal with it and and still um, bring a good either a good counter or just a good uh, maybe even mirror of what this make it more great team uh, make it more great again team has been bringing the last couple of days. So wait, with these bans, they only ban for the enemy team, they don't ban for their own team? Is it ban? Well, a lot of times if you ban a ship, it's banned just from the, from the match in general. So if they ban the Orthrus, then nobody can bring an Orthrus. But 
15? Apologies. Uh, I meant that uh, only uh, Make a Margarite Again gets to pick the ban uh, for the first round, oh. and then only Socket Close will get to pick for the second round. It is not, um, it is not an exclusive ban. But okay. seeing as how they've had success, I don't, I don't really see them. Does anybody see them bringing something different for this round besides their, their Amar setup that has had such success? Honestly, if I'm them, uh, I bring that setup and I dare socket close to counter it, because if if you're making my great again, you've got two chances at this, so you can afford to go with what you know has been working so right. far, and if it works, fantastic, you win the tournament. If not, then well, then bring something different. Yeah, I agree. Um, we'll we'll see if uh, if they're able to pull out another one, being able to ban the Orthrus and and pull out a victory with that Amar setup. So, what do you think uh, Socket Closed might do with that Orthrus ban, and knowing that the Amar team is probably going to bring that same setup? I think maybe we'll see a more drone-based setup. So perhaps they'll replace the Orthruses with the Gila's and go for there. Or maybe or will we see up. that rook setup that we thought might happen this <laughs> this tournament? Yeah, I mean, if you're going to bring ECM and you're going to face an all Amar team, then you've got a very strong advantage, especially because all those Tech One ships on the other on the other side, they're going to have very low sense of strength, so they're going to be easy enough to jam, especially with a bonus hull like a rook or a falcon. And also with the Amar being a primary, um, your primary weapon system is those laser turrets. Uh, it's not the drones like a Galente setup that could possibly survive um, with heavy drone DPS, uh, survive being jammed. Will exactly. be interesting to see for sure. So having just been informed that um, they have an Orthrus ban on them, how long do uh, Socket Close have to come up with their second setup and get it on field? Yes, so we are, we are giving them time um, to get their setups made and get on field. I'm not sure how much longer we have. Uh, we'll go ahead and field. Uh, does anybody have any more questions? We can uh, field them in the Twitch chat. Of course, if you're enjoying um, watching this competitive EV sport, stick around on uh, Eventy TV because later on tonight we have the major leagues of the Eventy Collides Tournament. Championship, yeah. Championship. Be on around like a little over an hour from now, like around 1900. Yeah, I'm supposed to be flying in some of those matches tonight, so should be interesting. Long day of EV sports. So just to clarify, since a bit, a bit of confusion in Twitch chat, um, on this particular round, only Amar, uh, make Amar great again, uh, get to pick a ban. So Correct. they, as the um, team coming in with the winning record, get to choose a ban. If they win this uh, match, then they win the tournament. If not, Correct. it goes to another match between make Amar great again and um, Socket Close. And in that case, Socket Close gets to make a ban, and whoever wins that fight will win the tournament. Correct. So a little bit, uh, a little bit confusing, hard to understand sometimes. But uh, a band system for an entire tournament like this is is just another added layer of, of meta gaming that we didn't want to add, except for um, you know these these final matches. So the teams are are nearly ready. We should be seeing them on grid in a few minutes. Still having to deal with that that Orthrus ban and thinking if they're going to change something for the last minute. Ooh. First hit landing, and it's uh, promising to me at least. Indeed. The ranges for this team uh, have varied a little bit as well, so it is certainly interesting. Tactics and planning and theory crafting. 
Yeah, so a little bit of a um, definitely more of an underdog because uh, not only are you down a match, but you also have that ban against you. So it does reinforce the winner um, most likely winning again in this final match. Uh, but yeah, so make a mark great again that's coming in at advantage and socket close. Um, has to win two instead of just one match, and they also have the band right. against them. A true underdog story if they can pull it out. Which I would be happy to see, because I don't know how I feel about making a mark great again. I think that's the only way forward. <laughs> build to a each wall. his own. Yeah, to build a wall, make the Mimitar pay for it. <laughs> Can we can we discuss the comps? Uh, we'll we'll give him a second and wait till we see uh, the other team in local in one minute. But um, no surprises. We'll just go that far. So it looks like uh, some some vocal people in chat voting for the underdogs here, going, rooting for socket closed, coming in with a pretty severe disadvantage, a ban against them, and um, having to win two matches to pull it out of the bag. So it should definitely be a... They're, they're fighting for everything in this match. Make them again, a little bit comfortable, but um, socket closed really have to go all in on this match. They can't afford to lose. Absolutely. Uh... You gotta go all in, and that's kind of what we were going for. We want somebody to... We've seen a couple setups that are a little bit different, but... Not... Haven't seen some truly... Um, some all-out off the wall, and, and maybe we'll be able to coax that out in this last match. <laughs> so I know we kind of touched on ship skins, and I think uh, the Make a Margaret Again team actually really capitalized on, like, how baller ships can look when they're all like matching ship skins yeah so we have um four matching <laughs> ship skins and then one particular house themed one uh domestic kadesh uh, of course he was the champion for house canid in the amara championship the rest of the team uh wielding purity of the throne skins which i'm sure lysis in twitch chat will agree with me purity of the throne skins are the best skins Being on a singularity is actually pretty great since teams are able to use so much without actually sacrificing anything. So like all the ships lost here are obviously, you know, you can get a, an essence for free because you don't really like lose any isk buying them compared to some tournaments on Tranquility where what you lose you actually lose in game. So it's really nice seeing some like people going all out with like whether it be ship skins or just other like kind of vanity items to kind of show off that, you know, they don't have to worry about, you know, spending millions of isk on ship skins in Tranquility. Right, not just the ship skins, but, but the composition themselves. I mean, um, each one, you would have to be in one of the top three to be able to have your isk prizes outweigh your losses um, if we had to pay for these ships on, on Tranquility. So definitely gives a benefit to... Um, to participating in a match like this where... You don't have to pay anything for your ships, and you don't have to pay an entry fee. We did not charge anybody this year. So everything these guys are getting um, is pure reward, and it's purely coming from contributions, uh, either from 
uh, from members or from people who are participating or from people on ISK Starter. So if you if you like what you're seeing, again, go on ISKstarter.com and and donate oh. to, to Eve and T and RB. Here we go. And here we go. We oh, see yo. Again. yo, it's the mirror. Yeah, we have a this could be a very exciting match here. We have a complete mirror matchup. Make a Margaret again bringing their classic Harbinger, Jewel Mahler, Jewel Omen. Exactly the same as what Socket Closed have fielded. Make a Margaret again choosing to come in at 10 with um, Socket Closed coming in straight on the beacon at 0. I'm going to call it, this is metagame is for pussies mode, boy. Just, just seeing who is the best at executing everything. Who's, and, who yep. is going to be the best Amarian team? Both of them have used this setup or some variation of it to carry themselves to this point. And let, now they're going to see who is the true champion. Who can use their lasers the best? And oh, oh, yeah. I cannot wait. This is so, our championship version 3.0 right here. So one of the socket clothes guys actually isn't doesn't have a ship skin. Um, the rest of his teammates do have ship skins. Some of them match, some of them are just kind of like random or unique. So, like, <laughs> if Make a Mark Great Again wins, then obviously it's because they all have ship skins. Yeah, Magic so Countdown ones. has started in local. So, this is going to be good, I think. I think this could be a very exciting match. It could be very, very close here. It's going to be down to target selection, target calling, and individual piloting. And we are underway. Link's immediately up from uh, both teams there, I think. Yep. And damage straight on to the, uh, the omens, the, the squishy ships. They do have a chunk of DPS. It's a good call to get rid of them both. And it is exactly race. one for one at the moment. It oh is a God. complete race. It's, you can see both both the Harbingers staying at range, trying to get that perfect tracking and using their optimal bonuses. And meanwhile, uh, one of the uh, both of the Omens trying to get a little bit of transversal, but it's not working too well. And they're both just popping immediately here. So the mirror the remains. Omen. Yeah, yep. damage first onto the uh, socket close team. So maybe maybe the Make and Margaret team slightly ahead now with perhaps just locking and getting that damage on faster. And split DPS coming on to make Amar uh, great again from the soccer close team. The Moller taking damage and the Omen. Perhaps a bad call. Well, so far, a mirror in the target calling and in the setups. But let's remember, the fittings are no small issue either. And like you said, just the faster lock even is a huge thing. With the, the second Omen of this Agony Unleashed team going down faster, faster than the Laser Hawks team. And it's also good to know that all drones are damage drones. There's no E-War drones out on the field. Oh, and here we see a divergence, though. The team uh, of Agony is going for the Mala on the other team, whost the Make Mark Great Again team is going for that Harbinger. And They're that Harbinger all seems to be melting faster than that Mala. Oh, man, that's going to be very interesting. Yeah, I think that's a big call. I think it's a very good call to go for that Harbinger. Mala's, of course, famous for their tank, and the Harbinger with the Lynx, if they can pull that Harbinger down before they lose that Mala, it's going to be two Mallers versus one Mala and one Harbinger. Both of them entering structure at the same this time, so and cool. that's the mate of Margaret again, Muller, wow. going down, but the Harbinger for Solid Clothes, he is in deep structure, and he's going to go very, very soon as well. He's got a lot more time, and they're doing significant damage to that other Muller, even through it. They might, oh my god, they might pull this back just by different target selection. This is so insane. The tiniest yeah. differences here being really everything that they have. This Maller is trying to maximize his transversal going completely 90 degrees away from the enemy Harbinger, and it's working well as they put that Maller into low armor here. Oh, if it's double Maller versus Harbinger, I think that they might have a chance. Yeah, for sure. Now, that uh, last remaining Maller for the Make a Margaret Again team, he's still benefiting from the links from that Harbinger, but it hasn't I helped him, down. and he is down. Oh, so now we have... Versus two half armor Mala, full armor Mala going up against a Harbinger. It's going to take a lot of time. That Harbinger must have at least a hundred, like 90k EHP. He can still boost himself. Yep, and of course he has larger guns, so he is going to be struggling to track the Maulers versus the Maulers. But they will have no difficulty tracking that, to Har that Harbinger. Yeah, he's trying to minimize the transversal on the enemy Mala, but the enemy Mala should be able to pull away and mitigate even more damage while still applying to it. Oh my god, this is so close. 
This Look could go either way. At this point right now, we have one Maller in quarter armor. The Harbinger, he's about two-thirds armor left. I think he's probably still going to take down this Maller before he goes down. But is that last remaining Maller going to be able to solo him? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Both teams are probably overheating to the extreme here, screaming at one another. Can that Mala do it? Can Silas once again be the hero that their team needs as the Harbinger dips low? He, oh, he's in structure oh, now. Oh no! Can he get oh, under no! his guns? I don't know if he can. Oh, this is there, so he's, there he's we down, go. He's down, but they, the, that so Harbinger have... only has 20% of his armor left. Can yep. the Mala do it? I think he might be able to. There's a lot of DPS coming from that Harbinger though, although he is really, really close to him, so he will be starting to get under that Harbinger's guns. And oh, we're, we're seeing Imperial Navy um, multi-frequency just on both of them here, overheating as much as they can, but at this point, no doubt, they've both heated their guns as much as they possibly could, so we're back down to regular DPS. And that Harbinger just so close to structure. I think, we're, yeah, but the thing is, the the Harbinger has a huge amount of structure. You really can't underestimate it. Whereas these Malas seem to have either no damage controls or really, really like they just don't have. He as just much took a structure. big chunk of structure. I don't know if he if he even fit a damage control. Maybe he didn't. I I know that the other one took the uh, sorry the Agony team had such a huge amount of structure to burn through. It took them oh a significant God. amount of time. Maybe it was just the range as it's Sock looking it like this Malas might be able it to back. do it. Socket close is going to do yep. this. Go that, 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 that Harbinger into quarter structure now. The Mallor sent completely half armor. I think we're going to call this one right here. Socket close taking it to the final match. And of course, they get a band to choose in the next one as well. Are they going to use it on that Harbinger and force Make a Margaret again? Take something different? We we'll go. find out very soon. And that is it. Socket close taking that match. Well oh, done. Fantastic fight. fight. So close. Absolutely just tickling the pickle of victory there. Living. The absolute dream. Tickling the pickle of victory. <laughs> <laughs> Balls to the wall action. I can only hope that that happens next fight because that was some insane fighting. Absolute just disgusting levels of things. I, I'm, you know, probably heat at 90% there for everyone. Unbelievable. Yeah, and of course the call to, um, to go for that Harbinger. Maybe that was the, the right call, maybe it was the wrong call, but in the end, it didn't work out for them. Yeah, the real problem was that no one was able to burn away, no one was mitigating damage, so it ended up just being these tiny, incidental little choices that won the match. Oh. Mirror matchup matches, we all know some of the most exciting matches that you can get. Apart from ECM mirror matches. Apart from ECM mirror matches, where it just goes <laughs> to time and no one dies. <laughs>